if I go Where back, is it? I assume you we have that in our inventory particular? now, we can look at My it diary. again. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Oh, hello. Well, I was gonna really quick check if we could go back to the book. I assume we can, but maybe at the very end of stream, I'll like read through it if you'd like to stick around and listen to me read all the goblin story. It'll probably take a good 20 or so minutes, 20, 30 minutes, but like, I'd be willing to do that after if uh, anyone wants to hear it. I mean, I'll probably just do it anyways because I want to read them. I just don't want to take the time to do it at the moment. You feel me? That seems like the best solution to me. Okay, let's remember whatever this is, though. Oh, we're gonna remember where the diary is. Mom. This feels Mom. like it's gonna be sad. Maybe that's just me. This one feels very sad, though, already. Mom, where is it? What did you do with oh, it? Oh, no, protect. I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, Abuse whatever I do, it's just for trolling. You it, didn't you? No. You had no. no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. That ain't it, Mom. Mm-mm. <laughs> Protect. Oh, that's that shot I kept seeing in the trailer. Aw. It's my bio mom, Jose. No. Hugs. No. I don't know how I never saw it coming. Did she try to kill him or something? She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning. Or like, I know he said something about that at the beginning in the flashback, but I mean like... Tyler, there is no My way process could have known is... she'd go that far. Yeah, how far did she get before he killed her? I want my diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. It's good to write and get your feelings well, out. Then let's go find it. Okay, good. You're gonna be there on the journey with me, sis. You think clearly she's still uncomfortable locked? going in her room. Always we have a lot to explore up here still before we finish. I'm looking forward to going in there. Um, I want to look. Okay. Um. I know, but we'll have to I... eventually. Okay. If I just hit the um, the back. Button, I need it back. back. Controller. We can open the Goblin Journal. Cool. Or storybook or whatever. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Some of our old toys <laughs> make me the creeps. <laughs> that is kind of terrifying. Sort of well done, though. Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? We're basically walking zombies on legs, you know. Yeah, well, how do you play Ice Road Trucker Assassins without a walkie talkie? Ooh, right? fun. Mr. Serious all of a sudden. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. <laughs> I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. Oh my god, has Tyler never seen all the hit TV shows? Wild. That would make sense. That monkey's really sad looking. Oh, fucking Parcheesi or whatever. Hell yeah. Look, it's the game we made. Lusion Tramway. <laughs> that game Ooh. <laughs> Didn't stop us from playing all day. Dude, we were kids. All we needed were rocks and bird feathers. Why is Shoots and Ladders always the thing parody in these things? Is that a game that kids are particularly attached to? Because I've played it, but it was never my favorite. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. <laughs> He's seen better days. Tyler does get to experience Game of Thrones a, vir a virgin. Oh, oh, nope, I wanted to look at it more. I didn't mean to put it down. Hey, you. I just found your twin Tyler under the house. Tyler has a whole world to explore. He's seen better days. Oh, cute. Oh, this one wasn't mine. 
Oh, now I see why we looked at the blood of the moose in the hideaway. So I'm going to assume that the other moose had Tyler's dead name on it and he ripped it off at some point. Oh, hell yeah, that's a badass poster. Allison's, um, not straight, right? I know she had a boyfriend, but, like, she's not straight. She has a bunch of roller derby pictures up. <laughs> she's wearing combat boots and a beanie, like. Hey. I mean, yeah, is anyone really straight? No. <laughs> Forever alone. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own oh, pen hello. pals. Jesus, I cannot read that. Okay, hello, Allison and Ollie. We are writing from the past. What is it like in the future? Anyway, Juno is super cool. We took the tramway all the way up. Ollie was scared. Liar. We got some books, but... Oh, Ollie was scared. Liar. They probably make more sense with the duochrome writing, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, we got some books, but Mommy went to the... Books, but Mommy went to the restaurant at night and forgot them. It was cool. There were a lot of whales on the ferry. No, there wasn't. They were in the water. Stupid. Anyway, here's a postcard to remind you how awesome we are. Especially me, A&O. Aw. <laughs> That's really cute, though. Like, it is sad that they had to write postcards to themselves, but it's adorable. Duh. And, uh, I was reading on the website on the FAQ. I don't know if this is somewhat spoilery or not, if we'll get into it more in, in the game, but uh, because there is the a question on there of, is Tyler ever dead named in it? The only thing is Mary answer. I should go check. Okay, bitch. I know I was talking for a second. Uh, Ollie, he's referred to as Ollie when he's younger because that's like one of the first, you know, boy names he wanted to go by because it sounded like Allie, which is really cute. Ace King finally caught the hag. His furious Ooh. voice could be heard throughout the forest. Is the hag mommy? You will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet. Is the lake finish, femininity? You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Tyler well, Hoonan okay, since day one. I would have changed the end. What? No way! Duh. The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. That's because it was dangerous to mention his name. Oh, was that the bad thing or whatever it's called? Um, the Mad Hunter? Oh, dokey. Time to head to Mama's room now. Hold on. Right, let's do it. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. No. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it. But it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word song. <laughs> okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's True. at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Hell yeah, I yep. do. Oh, do I need to read this story right now to Hand figure this out? Oh, Lord. No, I was gonna read that later, fam. <laughs> we better get that back. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. <laughs> well, Don't you guys Book share of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Duh. I saw on the website, too, that there's, like, a ta tab called Secret. The one about the princess's party. And you can just end, there's, like, a t enter text box. Give it a read. Box. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. So, I'm assuming that, like, there is some First kind of ghost memories, discover. now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. In the game, and then put it into the website what a weird and find childhood. some other Touché. Easter egg or something. I don't know. I was intrigued by it, though. Okay. Is it open to the right story? Oh, Lord. Guess who's back to ruin the night? <laughs> Welcome back, Gabriel. Um, what did... The princess's party, is that what she said? Okay. 
What was the one that she was saying to read? Was it the princess's party? Oh, hello. Yes, okay. Fine, I guess we'll read the princess's party right now then. Okay, it's only two pages. That's not too bad. All right, the princess's party. Once up, uh, Settle in, children. It's story time. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, the princess was melancholy because it was the one-year anniversary of when she had run away from home. Sensing her sadness, her forest friends showed up at her door. They were headed to the pelican... They were headed by the pelican, uh, poised and attentive and organized by the moose, stalwart and farsighted. The old bear was there with his claws so sharp, as well as the big frog prattling away. Even the haughty muskrat, who almost never had time for anyone, had come. The bear invited her to hide on, to ride on his back, promising no wolf would harry her path, and then the animals led her to a fairy glen, where a fabulous party had been prepared. There was a buffet of seafood the pelican had served from her never-emptying en beak. Ew. Uh, the air was filled with winking fairy lights, and the moose had arranged after clouds filled the sky. I'm gonna pull this up, because I feel like it'll be easier to read. <laughs> the slightly faded font was fucking my eyes a little bit. Okay, um... Moose arranged uh, after the clouds filled the sky, and the gregarious frog mixed up fizzing drinks. Only the muskrat had done nothing in particular, mooching off everyone else's hard work. Fucking muskrat. Uh, the princess had a very good time at her party. Such a good time that she forgot to say thank you to any of her friends. Rude. Noticing this, the fairies devised a bit of mischief. When the princess went to open her gifts, she found three identical boxes at the edge of the glen. Puzzled, she turned back and gasped. The entire party had vanished. Because you have taken your friends for granted, called the naughty fairies, we have hidden them from you, but we like games. Guess who has given you each of these presents, and we'll get you your friends back. Kind of dark. Uh, the princess opened the first box. Inside there was a torch, which, when lit, revealed the truth. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark, and that I always see right from wrong. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? She opened the second box. Inside there was a magic sword, which would leap right out of the bearer's hands to defend them. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I am protected if I am ever under threat. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? She opened the third box. Inside there was a bag of coins that always provided money if it was for something the bearer truly needed. Hmm, said the princess. Someone wants to make sure I have money to buy food when I am hungry and clothes when I'm cold. Which of my friends would give me a gift like that? The princess thought about her friends and then she smiled, certainly. Fairies, she said. I may have been thoughtless, but I appreciate all that my friends have given to me and all that they have done for me. She gave her answers, and the vexed fairies were forced to restore the party in a flash of colorful light. One by one, she gave the animals a hug and thanked them for the presents, the party, and all they had done to help her since she'd moved into the forest. And that is how the princess celebrated her very first anniversary in the woods. Okay, so... I mean, it's... It's three things here. I'm gonna assume we had to figure out which animal gave which gift in order. So... Um, the fridge is just making weird noises. <laughs> okay, the first gift was... Someone wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods in the dark and I always see right from wrong. So... Pelican is pious and attentive. Moose is stalwart and farsighted. I feel like the muskrat didn't give shit. The muskrat sucks. Um, the pelican wanted to make sure there was never-ending food. So I feel like the pelican is actually the third one. Or sorry, no, the second one. third one? Which was the, like, never-ending coin purse? Okay, no, the third one. Make sure I have food when I'm hungry. Torch is the moose. Sword is the bear. Pelican is the coins. That's my guess. That's kind of what I think I'm leaning towards as well. The moose... Because because the moose did the fairy lights. That's what I wanted to make sure. Double-check, like, who did the fairy lights. Pelican being the coins, and then... Did it say what the bear... Oh, the bear... Um... Oh, the bear is going to protect her. 
So, moose, bear, pelican. Let us try it. Oh. Moose. I think we got it. That sounds right to me. I don't know what else it would be, and I wouldn't assume this is, you know, super duper difficult to solve. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> GG everyone, we did it. <laughs> Something Spanish. I just head on in, I guess. Ooh. And boom, we're in. Boom. I used to have a light like that. Those are cool. I like those. <laughs> In that joke either, Robin. After so many honest. years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that? <laughs> I mean, you couldn't have done it without your sister pointing you to the right story, let's be fair. Where do you think we should start looking? Him opening the curtains scared me so much, I don't know uh, why. <laughs> where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Okay. I don't know what it means whenever... Uh, oh, does it just mean a memory's unlocked? Whenever the, like, coin thing connects on the side? I don't know if my face cam's covering that. I hope it's not. Oh, hello, Allison? Hmm. So she was standing here, spying through the window, drawing us while we played. She always had her eye on us. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Whoops. Us? <sighs> bitch. Oh, it tell is me us. Everything. Oh, you little they bitch. Me Maybe don't be Tessa. fucking Shut abusive and we would let you into our lives. I've had so much on my plate lately, and, and they're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why. Wow, Mom, it's almost like I literally don't care. <laughs> I need them. I need my goblins. Aww, well, I remember now. Yeah. Don't we be a dick to them. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here. This it really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? Yeah, like maybe these memory things are more apparitions than actual memories. Because I was wondering that at the start too, Robin. Like, how are they remembering this if they weren't even there? Ew. Don's got that fat ass. The wise princess. Not much of a listen, she's not talking, but the wise princess is a runaway from a far off land. She won't tell anyone what she's running from because she just just thinking about her makes her cry. And then she's friends with the forest animals or whatever. Okay. Hmm. So she was standing here, spying through the window, trying to suck, while we right? <laughs> she always had her eye on us. My we entire heard body that one. just shivered. She always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? Blingy. I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? Yeah, that's not the most heartwarming picture, for sure. Oh. This explains a lot. They're mostly full. She mm. was too stubborn to take medication. Gotcha. It's here! I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. There are more things to look at, but I didn't realize I was in there.
Don't know about that one, Mom. I'm gonna hide that from him. Tyler. Part of no jacuzzi what? rooms tonight. This Tyler. I'm gonna understand. What? Look. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Dumb. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Help this game doesn't erase their mom's transphobia and turn into a supernatural reasons. I don't think so. I'm gonna assume it was pretty good about handling the transgender stuff because they like did a lot of research and like talked to a lot of trans and LGBT people like they made sure that they had a good team on the writing staff and as consultants and stuff oh maybe Tessa got it for her yeah that's a good thought hello Okay, see, when I first saw the flyer for, like, the youth camp, I thought that maybe it was, like, a conversion camp kind of thing, not, like, a supportive youth camp thing. So I was like, oh, is this, like, kind of competing things? But I think that was a youth camp for, like, transgender children. It was all, Are you like, really, stuff. really sure? <laughs> she was the one who thought they were gifted. I am. True. Do it. Oh, is this when he cut his hair? Okay. Or Allison cut it for him. <laughs> Hell yeah, bitch. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Girl, what kind of angle were you going in at? That is not how we got hair. Whoa. Is it all gone? <laughs> Duh. Yeah. Your children, I'll forgive you for not it, knowing. It looks amazing. Beautician school <laughs> really? tips and tricks. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube was like just starting, right? I can't right? wait to show mom. Aww. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. Mm -hmm. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. Protect. Thank you, Allison. No. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. No, oh, I'm gonna cry. But I'm um, pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> yeah, but it's the thought that counts. It's the principle of the matter. Mom? Oh, woof. We're not gonna get to see the whole Mom? Like, story yet, I don't feel like. This is gonna be kind of bits and pieces, and then we'll fill it in. Right? I can't imagine they'd show us, like, the full shebang chapter one. Yeah, I know this is gonna be a fade to black kind of thing. And only hear the. Oh. Oh, hello? Mom? 
Oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is wrong. Was mom about to kill herself? This is all wrong. Wait, stop! Uncle Ed's full involvement. Yeah, like maybe there, I feel like there might be more to do with him too. His relationship to mom and the youth camp. I think the butler did it. I was about to make a, I guess it was Tyler in the shed with the shotgun joke. But. Okay, see, it's about what I expected. Like a little tidbit, but not the full explanation. Yeah, I think she's about to kill herself. Shotgun's an interesting choice. Me too. I guess it's a short-range weapon. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn Yeah, he was a kid. Like, what was, was she supposed to do? They were, what, 11? So are they 21 now? About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? No. Nah. Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she, she wasn't trying. She never... It doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her she off, right? She sounds like a very complicated Allison, woman. Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Maybe Tessa has answers. Must be nice to forget. I think they can both be right. I don't think Allison's wrong in that, like I said, she's complicated. I think she probably was a little unhinged, overwhelmed, etc. Like, she wasn't, you know, 100% stable, obviously. But I don't think that's cause that we need to erase the fact that maybe she was trying to help out Tyler and be supportive, but didn't know how and didn't have the, like, capacity to be able to fully process or do right by him at the time. Like, I think they can both be in the right here. And obviously I want to say maybe Tessa has answers because I don't want to just move on from that. It's obviously important to Tyler to, like, What about Tessa? Get she was answers. Marianne's I'm wondering, closest friend. I do want to know more about Tessa about and, like, sure. how... But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Close. Well, maybe she'll talk to mom me. And her word. I was always her favorite. <laughs> Operative word was... See, maybe Tessa did give her the we book. To go by the I like that idea, Zay. To get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. <laughs> I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I, like I know you don't want to keep talking the about one. this. But you're Herb's obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. I was going to say, too, I'm curious what all happened with Allison and Mom. Because, as I was saying, she's not very stable. She was definitely abusive. So I wonder how... She traded Allison, really? We haven't heard a lot about that. But Allison seems very reluctant to talk about mom or get into it. She just kind of wants to push it away and avoid. Is that just that she's uncomfortable and, like, has a lot of trauma from the Tyler stuff and doesn't want to touch it again? But because she's not him, like, she's not fully grasping why it's important to him to get these answers? Or is there, like, more here, too, on Allison's personal side where she doesn't want to dig deeper into the mom shit, you know? I'm curious. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna finish this conversation, and then we'll talk about, you know, where we want to stop for the night, okay? Uh, is something wrong? Let's You've been that. on edge all day. 
Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Okay. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I'll address your I thought we were on the Jonas. same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. I looked it up and the brochure was for a gay conversion camp. That's what my first thought was. But then I just second guessed what I thought it was. So maybe, yeah, like she had like a gay conversion camp brochure and then maybe Tesla gave her the transgender, like, or raising your transgender kid book. And so it was kind of two sides of her battling. That was my initial thought. I don't know, bitch. I want answers too, Tyler. <laughs> oh, I don't know which one to choose here. It's important to me or that book changed everything. Both? Can we just say it's important? Like, the book changed everything and it's important to me to see this through? It's like she was deciding between the two. I think... I think so. I think... That's, like, what was going on there. I'm gonna go with that book changed everything. And then we found the book, and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just, with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Ooh. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. I think she was gonna kill Tyler in his sleep. Interesting. I mean, I can see it. We'll see. I like the theory, though, Zay. I don't think I have, like, besides the things that I've said, I don't have, like, a full theory of how that night went or anything yet. Okay, um, wasn't ready to come back. We'll do that. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just... It's a lot of trial Wasn't ready process to be Tyler for a small child. in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy box cake the and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non responses and half assed evasions. Stop making it about you. I was hiding from everyone. Um. Ooh. From what I know of true crime, mothers kill their kids to protect them more, and maybe her being like, oh, not, oh no, this isn't how it's supposed to be, was her being like, shit, you were supposed to be asleep. That makes a lot of sense. I like it. Yeah, you guys know more, I know a lot of you know more true crime stuff than me, or watch more of that content than I do. That's a very strong theory, I think. Ooh, do we want to be combative or not? Not that that has to be combative, but I just feel like the way that Tyler is going to say it, he's he's a little bit aggressive sometimes, I feel like. You no, know I'm going to go for it. It was about me, not you. And oh, okay, that feels fine. It's really not cool. Seriously? That's it? Seriously. Okay, then. No, that felt just like a calm, direct way to address, like, hey, you're making this about, like, you're turning my feelings and my experience, like, about you. It wasn't all about you, you know? Okay, that didn't pop off like I was kind of worried it might. <laughs> Listen, when I was just gonna say I don't care and he chucked the ring into a mountain, I don't know what to expect now, you know? All right, uh, we have a plan? So, we have a plan? Yep, we ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. Sounds good to me. Okay. Ollie's diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Duh. Was I the Don't only touch. one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, <laughs> until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. No. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. I like that this is a school planner. Uh, that he's turned into his diary. <laughs> uh, so, okay, it is 11.16 right now. I usually end around 11. I am okay going a bit longer tonight. It is more up to your guys' schedule. Uh, this seems like a somewhat good place to end. Maybe after we read the diary, just because I didn't see, like, a saving point yet. I want to wait till the next save point. So, should we end at the next save point? I'm feeling it, too. I'm feeling, like, into the story. I'm still feeling chilled out and just... Ready to keep zoning into this. I'm having a good time. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and at least jump into Ali's diary here. Uh, if anyone else has any other opinions, but I think we are gonna continue and go a bit long tonight. Is that little leaf is a bookmark? That's cute. Oh, bitch, I cannot read this. We are pulling up plain text for this. Hello. All right, Mom and Allison argued again. At least I'm not the only one Mom is screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her what we were planning to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about her voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked her to join the hockey team. Like it's wrong for me to play a boy's sport. I'm going to keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? Aww. <laughs> Ooh, I like all these drawings, though. I see she's such a suck-up down there, at least. <laughs> Saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great. Oh, so is Bobby like a childhood friend that Allison at least went to prom with in high school, maybe dated? You guys were saying ex-boyfriend. I didn't get that they were 100% exes. But I don't know if that's just me not picking up on, like, relationship things that aren't explicit. <laughs> uh, okay. Mom found out we watched it and got mad. She said it gloried. <laughs> she said it gloried war. Zoom, zoom. Uh, Saturday 5th. February 5th, 2005. Ooh, we're getting close to it. Would mom be happier if I could do what she wanted me to? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that it was my fault mom got angry at us. She's such a suck up. Mom's barely said anything to us in a few days. Allie said she saw her throwing away pages of, from the Book of Goblins. <laughs> March 1st, 2005. Do this, do that. I am sick of her voice. And I am sick of that dumb name, too. I am Ollie the Goblin. <laughs> oh, was that it? Two pages. Um, I want to look at this again just to make sure I didn't accidentally close it or anything, you know? Turn... Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure that was the end of the diary or then. Cool. Alright, we're gonna go long. We'll end around midnight, or if chapter one ends before that, we'll end at the end of chapter one, okay? Sound good, you guys? <laughs> Thank you for uh, continuing to join Not me on this journey. View, I'm having a good right? time. I forgot how beautiful I'm glad it is. that that's the decision that we've made. <laughs> I forgot how beautiful it is. Okay, the time we tried to cross. Oh, you guys tried to cross that lake? Jesus. Let's do that. I want to hear about that. Remember that time we tried to cross the lake after it froze over? That's oh, a terrible yeah. idea. How can I forget? Marianne lectured us for an hour. <laughs> well, she wasn't wrong, at least. It was really dangerous. If we'd fallen in, no more goblins. <laughs> we grew up on this lake. How we know how to spot young the were you? But still. I think I'd like to end up somewhere like this, just not here. Somewhere with it's more fair. trees than people? Exactly. Just go into it with a little more of a plan than Marianne did. I could be a ranger. Already working on it. I with my degree, be. it'll be Sorry, easy to get a job ranger. as a ranger. After you spend a little time in Juno? Uh, still a maybe on that one. Um... Oh. If you squint, I'm gonna talk you can almost last. forget tell those crossings only a few miles away. I'm sure Marianne tried to. Can't blame her. We're headed there for supplies later. Are you ready for that? Yeah, but I was really enjoying a day without assholes. Just a little longer, and every day will be asshole free. That might be asking a lot. <laughs> will any day ever be completely asshole free? Ooh, more looking. At least the glacier's still there. You have to wonder just what kind of stories it could tell. You know, if it had a mouth. <laughs> Remember the ice cave? The old bear's den? That's the one. It would have made a perfect secret base if we'd ever been able to find it again. You know, I actually went looking for it a few years ago. Really? No way. So? We found it, but the entrance had collapsed. Ah, <laughs> bummer. I was noticing her ring. Like, nice does ring. she have a gift from your boyfriend? Come or is on. it a... I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Okay, Michael's not her boyfriend. Why does it look familiar? 
It was a gift from Eddie. I was gonna say, is it a gift from Eddie, like a matching one? Time. Both? I knew it. Oh my god, I was gonna oh, literally wait. say that earlier. Yeah. I the ring was supposed to be linked to the one he tried to give you. Uh, why didn't you tell me? Uh, I didn't think you were gonna toss the ring my foster father <laughs> gave you overboard. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm an ass. I yeah. didn't think you were either, Tyler, yeah, to be fair. It. When she was, I don't know, there was a close-up on her ring earlier just when they were walking around the house, and I almost said, oh, is that a matching one of the one that Eddie was going to give Tyler? Because it looks just like that. Think you're going to go, all good, Jenna. I know you got a lot of work and stuff going on right now. But thank you for tuning in for uh, the first couple hours of this. I hope you enjoyed. I appreciated having you here, as always, and I love you very, very much. I hope you get some good rest, and I will talk to you later, my love. Nighty night, well, darling. guess we better get going. Here, I thought you'd never tear yourself away. But I guess yeah. we should Sorry. head away from the docks Views now. Like this, the port. I just tend to get lost in them. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh -huh. My sister, the social butterfly. <laughs> Seems we got a trespass. <laughs> Hello? What the fuck? You got five now? seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Your property? Five, four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Sir? Three, two. Sam. Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler, my brother. Hello? Brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about that, but I never... Who is this man? Damn. You look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what like I mean. like I am, thank you. No, I don't, actually. Didn't know they could thank make you. a woman look so much like a man. Yikes, help. I am a man, thanks. Not a woman who looks like a man, Sam. A man. A real man, just, just like, like you. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. A real man that can actually button yes, his shirt I'm the properly, asshole but... Again. Yeah, you are. You gotta excuse us, old guys. I really don't. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we Kids stand, Tyler. <laughs> Can't expect us to keep up. Why does Tyler just, just keep getting more attractive? People are who they say they are. Oh, it's not yes. hard. No, it ain't hard, but it just takes some getting used to. We'll get used to it, because we aren't <laughs> going anywhere. I was about to say that, Tyler. Oh, man. What, Ellie? No, you don't give us so, a, like, stern what look. Give Sam the stern exactly? look. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, well, uh, yeah. Who is Sam? <laughs> I've been kind of keeping this? an eye on this place for you, you know? I mean, like, thank you, I guess. Roof. Checking pipes and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, Stop yeah, playing in the game. Uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She just oh. much better. Than, you know. Uh, God, is she was a special lady, got. huh? Hello. Didn't you used to help Marianne with repairs and building projects? Oh yeah. Yeah. Seeing as your mama never had a man around. Just, I took it on myself okay, to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. Yeah, uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh, yeah. Oh, Absolutely. that makes sense. Okay. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad, yeah, I think we're pretty good. sure, Sam. Thank you. It's all you've got left of her. <laughs> no one asked you, bitch. <laughs> Funny. Don't remember asking for your opinion on the subject. Tyler. What? What Tyler means is. No, I meant what I what said. Oh, Ellie, don't talk of to course. me. Yeah. Don't talk for me. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe yeah. some good ones, too. Yeah, Ellie's being a dick by trying to play, like, Switzerland here. Sweden? What's the one that's, like, oh, people always call it neutral? I always fuck it up, but whatever. 
Oh, speak using your voice. Oh, is he hammered? I didn't think that. I just thought he was an asshole. Oh, I don't know what to... No, Ellie's pissing me off right now. How well did you know her? How well did you know Not her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. Is he kind of slurring really his words? I, like, didn't, didn't even register that because I was so annoyed at what he was saying. Much anything ever has. Let's get the hammered man away from the Other shotgun, Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. Who? I'm just gonna say we should go. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Oh. Mm. I guess I could ask a few more questions. Okay. Did the controller not do that incessantly? <laughs> Hello? I mean, there was only one more thing to ask, I guess. I didn't think that that was gonna Did get any more. Oh, door. I didn't know he was gonna ask. The like, did you on her help? Bedroom door. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? We're literally, yep. we were literally children. Better late than never, I guess. <laughs> never solved it myself. <laughs> the noise was this controller going to, ham I, with the vibrations. I, uh, <laughs> I needed y'all to so, understand uh, what my hands were experiencing. You should know all your mama's secrets now, huh? <laughs> She may have one or two left. Okay, now can we fucking leave? Allie, can you hear me? Ty, oh, we've already been over you this, man. When we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um. Everything okay with the <laughs> They're just like no. staring at the floor oh. silently. <laughs> All right. I I did the two dialogue options, Ellison. What do you want from me? I Should I ask this again? Is that going to warrant a How different well response? Did you know her? Not as well as I thought. Yeah, see, it's the same thing. Well, I heard what happened that night. Well, I figured people were bullshitting me. Why is Ellie tripping? It really surprised me. We should just go, man. Much Let's as go. anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. I don't need to hear Let this me. again. That is not a good picture of mom, to be honest. Okay, we should go, bitch. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Yeah, I tried. All of the options. He's too wasted to help us. He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Okay, thank you. Oh, she finally stopped vibrating too. Well, thank you. It was getting a little incessant and making. loud. Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. Well, right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going. Are we gonna meet too. the infamous Uncle Eddie? Um, Sam. We all gotta get going. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Yeah, there was something going on between Sam? them. Whether anything happened or he was just like Logie in love uh, with her. Sam? <laughs> the keys? Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Oh, yeah, they're yours. I, uh, Thank you. Uh, this place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her. And, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh, 
Yeah. Zay, I think well, you were uh, right. <laughs> take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Was that not kind of confirmation, though? Hey, so we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Ooh, why is his jacket moving like that? <laughs> That's not physics. I love that on one side of my desk at work I have stream and stressful stuff going on in this game, and then on the other side, a radio hearing security deal with stressful stuff too. Rip. Stress on all sides, and sorry babe. I mean, no, the house is definitely going to do that. <laughs> I mean, the, the house could just like cave in right now. <laughs> Hello. No, Gavril, don't go. Is this Michael? Or is this Uncle Eddie? Oh, was Uncle Eddie the pic people the was Uncle Eddie the person that was in those pictures? This just like kind of looks like the person that was in those pictures around her desk, right? He is fine though, yeah. Hello. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready the to zoom talk tight? to Tessa. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is <laughs> ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm oh, guessing this is Michael. Oh, we're playing Allie now? Oh, this is Michael. Okay, I was right. Um, hello. <laughs> Hi. Sir, where did he go? Where's Michael? I'd love to go talk. Yeah, ooh, yes, hello. Hey, you. Hey. Hey. Isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying co-worker I was telling you about. Oh. I was there for your annoying introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co-worker. <laughs> Hell Rude. yeah. I, wow, worry. I love him. Exactly Why am I in love with him already? Be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7. So Aw, like that's I already cute. Know you. <laughs> so, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape Oh, it. they're staying hey, there, I'm too? Hey, for efficiency. Oh. Cannot wait that for us to get old out of here. Or like... What's that? Excuse me, Tyler, I didn't ask you to do my job. Um, he wants to move, too? So are they just, oh, like, uh, best Michael friends? Is there something you know more? Too. Oh. And did you guys plan on moving together? Sorry, I keep playing with my hair so much, well, it just I mean, keeps bothering me. Yeah, it'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. <laughs> I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be Yes! Good. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. Yeah, I will be, Mike. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? <laughs> yeah. There's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, wait, well, no, I kind of shift this. Holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> I don't know what either of their sexualities oh, are, but I. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she felt Wait, the I really kind of shipped those two. Never mind. Tyler, we better get started Wait, with Wait, they're shopping. cute. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Michael is the cutest. I love him. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm not getting Allie and Michael are a thing vibes. I'm getting like Biffles vibes. Which I'm chill with because I want him and Tyler to be together now. That was so cute. Also, Tyler, could you not manspread while you're like waiting for me? 
Allison and Michael gotta get married. Listen, Michael just needs to marry someone in the family. He needs to be a part of our family. Uh, hello? Quermst. Where? Bye. Hello? Do you get five I wanna have anything? To see no. I'm bad at reading those kind of things, so what do I know? Can we get the coconut cake for dessert? <laughs> oh shit, that sounds so good. Hungry goblins. Mm. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. <laughs> oh, did she know? Man, I missed that. That wasn't bad. She still make those. That wasn't a bad memory. What are they called? Fried banana rolls. Ew, Tarant? why did Allison right. run like that? Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. They turned that fan into a billboard. Yeah, Tessa didn't want to get rid of her old food truck. Too many memories. Great marketing though, right? You can't miss it. That's cute. Hello, step over the canoe. Oh god, another one already. Uh, pick a hole, any hole. Hello? Oh. Cute. Get it? Because it's a dome. <laughs> You're gonna fall, <laughs> stupid. That was funny. <laughs> I don't know what a fried banana roll is either, but it does laugh. sound really good. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I love dating <laughs> you. It was my favorite thing. Cute. Okay. Hello? Hi, camera. I don't know why we did that. <laughs> I'm just now noticing that on stream this game looks a little more widescreen than it actually is in me playing it. Hopefully that's not ruining the experience for you though. The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Ooh. Tom Becky? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the Who's only that? store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Hmm. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas. And he's not exactly charismatic. Damn, read him for filth, Tyler. <laughs> All I can find is a Filipino banana egg roll. That sounds good. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe Tessa's Filipino? Oh, I'm not gonna read all these. Okay, thank God there's only three. Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of bibinka oh. and the Hail Marys start flowing. Or maybe... There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us? Maybe Tessa's the one who gave the conversion camp brochure to Mom, and Mom is the one who was trying to, like, accept her son with the transgender... Raising your transgender child book. But was like conflicted because her closest friend was pushing against her being accepting and shit. I don't know. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a yeah. That'd be why Tessa never visited Tyler. It's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Um. I can read that. Dallas Crossing Police Department crime alert. Recently, we had multiple incidents of mail theft occurring in and around Dallas Crossing. Residents have reported letters and packages stolen from mailboxes, particularly in the East Point and Alameda sections. Dallas Crossing Police Department encourages all residents to increase awareness and consider purchase of locking mailboxes. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Interesting. Groceries, groceries, get your groceries in your extreme bubblegum? What does that mean? 
It's more extreme, anyways. Alright, in the side we go, I guess. Hot. Well, it's automatic doors? That's fancy for a small town. Like a little locally owned shop, you know. Well, hello, is Miss Tom Ronan. Becky. I Did think it is. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, bitch. Right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. Okay. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> <laughs> did you just get back into town, what? or? More or less, we've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise, after 10 years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. I assume being there feels complicated. Maybe a little complicated, Tom. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in it. Oh! I'm sure she'll be around okay. later, though. Okay. okay. So we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Interesting. Plus snacks and drinks. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's get some snacks, boy. Oh, hello. Marsha. Oh, mean Marsha. Why does this moose look so aggressive? Take a picture of this. Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. Uh, why don't you Michael, just ask Michael? You to want take... me to pick up some birch syrup for you? This has some roundabout oh, way he's of in here too. to make you two my world famous pancakes. Y it Ooh, wasn't, busted. but please do. I feel bad I didn't respond to Tyler. I didn't see the like little LT respond button <laughs> until I already clicked so, on the syrup. What do you think of snack wise? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Never not thinking about Big Brother, you're correct. <laughs> Um, Ellie feels more like a chip Chips. Girl. Salt and vinegar is the only thing yeah. that sits right if my stomach's acting up. Wasn't planning Kill on for snacky. Snackies do sound good. So, I should also have dinner at some point. <laughs> I, I ate like some mac and cheese right before, so Let's I'm see. not worry about like Fresh cut starving peonies, and losing if I go late. <laughs> chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you Ooh, doing a dramatic fuck. reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Mm. Plain candles are fine. Oh, those were candle flavors. Got it. Oh, hell yeah. Biggest pumpkin contest winner. This is a little deformed. Stripes. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> nut, nut organic spread. Let's just ask uh, Michael for that. Uh, scents, flavors, what's the difference? Ooh, um, juice. We can get some she juice She feels like a water morning. bitch, but. Right. I'll grab some OJ. Ew, uh, it's not what I meant. You breaking shit over there? Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. Trout King's a little Tom sad looking. I him by now. Are you kidding? <laughs> he never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12 pounder. Hello. What, you don't eat candles? You're missing out. Because of how close it is to the pole, Alaska gets like 23 hours of daylight and so they can grow giant produce. Oh, interesting. Look, I knew that, um, they got more sunlight. Any opinion than on cleaning products? Uh, said they're using them as an correlate that that would spend an afternoon. Mean big daddy produce I'll take game, the strong you one. know. Oh, I didn't actually read them. I just clicked on one. Okay, I think we're done here. A 500 pound cabbage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, help. Ooh, I hate that American flag life fest. <laughs> if I am struggling to stay alive, the last thing I'm going to be reaching for is anything. Uh, Patriotic. <laughs> I don't think that will help me. Pizza time, value pack. 
What are these weird little half egg cartons? Okay, this feels like most of the things. Casting call <gasps> for what? Let's Athletic, be in play. graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for <laughs> shit. What about your singing, though? I feel like it's slim pickings in this town. Dulcet's Del live, free concert, Catholic Halloween celebration. Hmm. I should write Job down the for after the move. Interest in a roller? Yeah. Okay. Allison's. Not straight. <laughs> um, can we talk to... I'll assume that this is like the last thing. Oh, I was talking to Michael's the last thing. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard oh. that. I was gonna say Tom's I right may there. Have a That's less so rude. Going on in the hair department, <laughs> but you should see the rest of Delos hot. A class of eighty-one. Allison, Fair enough. Ready. Let's pay for the groceries. Okay, paying for the groceries is the last thing. Let's talk to Michael then, real quick, before we go pay. Because I'll assume that ends this little free roam part. Hey, sexy. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Yeah, I don't need a roast I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. Uh, it's been a rough day. Yeah, I don't know. But he told me I'm selfish. Define crazy. And I didn't want to continue to talk to the trans sub. I don't know what's wrong with him today. Um, just let me go back there. I feel like Ellie doesn't like to talk about the mom stuff. Kind of unsettling so. to go back to the old house after all this time. We won't get into it right now. Still unsettled, but it'll pass. All right. Well, I'll be. And they here seem if close, but I'm still not 100 percent sure how close. Like how much of the deep, dark family secrets do we share with Michael? You know. They seem like the kind of comfortable relationship that I like to be in. I mean, me too, but that's how I like my friendships to be. Like, I don't know, it doesn't... F Again, I don't know how to... Don't ask me to pick up on romantic relationships unless it's clearly defined, but... It feels like... Aren't you running for more gun control? They're kind of close My platform to calls me. for sensible regulations, but folks Just around not here need guns for safety. And as you know... We run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. That's something. All right, I guess we should pay for these groceries then. I don't Will think there's anything all? else to look at. Yes. Thank you, Yeetle. Tom. Hello. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just Tessa? meaning to come talk to you. Uh, that she just said it. <laughs> hi, Tessa. Long time no see. That felt oh God, you look like a completely like a square up. <laughs> it's me, plus beard. Yes. So we were out of the old house. This game might be liberals. I don't know. It gave you that impression. Why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. You we found some stuff in Marianne's room that took us by surprise. Oh really? Oh, okay, Tyler, we're just gonna fucking launch in, I we guess. Alright. Ask right. you some questions about her. Ma'am, we really did no preface. You're the only person who might have known Marianne. Yeah, she's shifty. Us. I don't like Tessa. I know about that. Yeah, she definitely, definitely gave her the. She was definitely pushing against Marianne being know, supportive and gave her the need fucking to person camp brochure. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? We just gonna do this in the middle of the storm. <laughs> no. It never came up. I That's found out lie. much later, just like everybody else. Marianne I don't was obviously that. concerned. I believe that for a second. She really didn't confide in you at all. Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always Shifty willing bitch, to ask no. for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but... It was God's plan. Hello? That's all we can know. I need to go now. <laughs> Best of luck to you, truly. 
I don't think so. What the hell was that? I told you she oh. wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Sorry about that. I didn't realize yeah, moving my too. window would like change the aspect Sometimes ratio of it. Of my tongue. Like on stream. Yeah, she sucks. I don't like her. You saw the tip of your tongue? Yeah, she was acting real weird. <laughs> and avoidant. No. Oh, we're buzzing again, ladies. Where's Where's this memory? Oh, there it is. Oh, pfft. I keep forgetting I have to, like, hold. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse? Yeah, she's clearly uncomfortable around Tyler. Emergency repairs for the beaver dam. Tessa, look. No. I would assume I they probably you. called her aunt Tessa. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Excuse me? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it. What debts, but not exactly man. like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? <laughs> oh, weird. Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, oh. let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. The same general vibe, though. Rashomon, Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got oh, all preachy. Oh. Please, let... Oh, choose which memory you want to remember. Oh, this feels like an important choice. I want to talk, talk to Tessa about this. Just talk. Really oh, wait, which one should we do? I feel like I need to, like, source your guys' opinion minutes. on this one. Choose Allison's now. memory where Tessa was or angry. Start calling in your dad? Or choose Tyler's okay. memory where Marianne was angry. Are you hearing this? Marianne was looking for a fight. No, Tessa was. She went on Jack Thompson on her. Tessa was angry. She's bad shit and seems preachy. I, I think I agree. That's kind of what I was leaning towards. To okay, let's go with let's go with this one. Now, or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those He loves. You're failing these kids, Mary. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, Tessa's definitely yeah. Tessa's definitely the one that fucked up mom's support. You hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a no. guiding hand, and you, my God, you mm. actually think you're being a friend no, right now? No. Talking yes. about my children that way? Yes. You might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. Oh, I really want to get into this. <laughs> she kind of dragged her there, though. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? Or is that little dial on the side like any time a significant thing has changed the story? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't and know. like, your mom's it was impossible parenting, to hear I assume. Over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Let's just bust in their guns blazing. Oh, got it. Mind you that it's almost I, I Yeah, I realize it's almost midnight. Um, I think after we have this conversation with Tessa, as long as there's a save point, then we'll say, let's, we'll stop at the next save point. How about that? Okay. I'm going to assume, like, assuming that the little storybook in the corner is a save point, because I don't want to lose this progress, but we'll just stop the next time we see the little book in the corner. 
Is there something I can do for you? Punch her. <laughs> um, let's ask what she's up to first. So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. Yo, I hate when people write nines like that. Like a G. You're fine with Marianne, bitch. Let's go in. Clock her. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death. But, mm, Didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more my, specific. Uh, this wasn't about memory. who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. Defers, I'm bitch. sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. She defo knows. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. No. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <laughs> yeah. But duh. But there's no right. way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Ooh, just gotta Maybe play that listening song then. to it will trigger something. Hmm. Hell yeah. You may be onto That's something, a good idea. Here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. That felt kind of weird. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Do siblings, like, call each other by their last names when they have the same last name? That felt just kind of strange. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know siblings. Okay, wait. What are we doing to ask Tom about the song? I thought I just want to make sure. Yes. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? Um. What's next on the campaign a little trail? Going a rally soft. down at the harbor. We don't need to hardball the immediately fishermen like are getting did. pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. Will do, buddy. How's business? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Okay, yeah, yeah, I don't actually really care Tessa, about Elvis. I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no, not yet. I didn't think I'd like Isn't... it. Habanero and chocolate. Ooh, that sounds but good. But it's not bad. What do they think up next, huh? Isn't Survival on Ice a reality show that Chloe and Max would talk about in Life is Strange? Is that a little, like, universe connector there? <laughs> this might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Yeah, it's been that year, but we'll be ending pretty soon. They played it all the time? <laughs> Whenever this little segment's over. Oh, good, I forget. Uh, Thanks for sticking along with me this long. I think she's still got the CD back here. Yes! Blast that shit. A wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Just like you, though. Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Time to twerk on the counter, hell yeah. Bust it out, boys. This is it, right? I think so. Sounds like it. <laughs> Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? No, she's yeah. looking in a different direction, but... Should we check this one out? Oh. Okay. We got the little storybook. Which I'm pretty sure it means uh, we have we've saved. So I think we will stop there for the night. Not too much past midnight on my time then. That's good. It's like 12.01. And that's, that's kind of a dramatic place to end it off on. A little cliffhanger for us, I feel like. So uh, we, will, we will end there. We will see whatever memory the CD has triggered. Next time we're obviously going to continue with this game. I'm not just going to leave you guys there. Let's take the controller off the table so you're not listening to it vibrate the whole time. Can I, like, get away from this so it stops vibrating? Okay, I can't. There we go. 
<laughs> we'll just stare and listen to the music. <laughs> Can't wait to come back to this. Me too, I'm really excited. Um, we won't be coming back to it in September, but September is luckily almost over, and I'm pretty sure I put it early. Put it pretty early on my October schedule, which will be up at the end of September. So we'll be revisiting this in the next week or two. Um, oh yeah, pause the game. We can do that. Uh, do you guys not want to listen to all this music in the background while I talk? <laughs> uh, we'll leave it there and then I can put my controller on the desk. But thank you for joining me on this journey. Um, I was kind of hoping to do a long stream if you guys were up for it. Get through as much as possible on our first go. And so I'm glad that you guys were down and we did that. Um, I don't know how much is left in chapter one. I don't know if there's a way to check it all. Uh, I have no idea how long each chapter is. There's three chapters in total. And so we're just going to play through this at least once a month until we are done. Uh, I'll see if I have room to maybe schedule it like twice in October so we can like get more gameplay in of it because I really do want to chug through it, but we do have a lot of other things to <laughs> do as well. So make sure you're in my Discord if a mod wants to drop a Discord link really quick. Um, Make sure you're in my, dis in my Discord to see the October schedule, which I'll put up at the end of September to figure out when we're going to be getting back and to tell me why once October hits. Uh, and I hope to see you there for the next ones to continue the story. Other than that, thank you for joining me tonight. I love you guys very, very much. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night and a beautiful rest of your week. And I will talk to you all later. Mwah. Nighty night, kitties.